Everybody out there has bought in some product that they've ended up regretting. Either it didn't do what you needed it to, the novelty wore off, or for whatever other reason, you wish that you didn't buy that product. But other ones, on the other hand, products that as soon as you buy them, they change your life. They're fantastic, they do everything you could have wanted, and more. Those are the products we're going to talk about in today's video. The products that I should have bought sooner, and I think you guys should definitely look into if you haven't bought them yourselves. What's up, Airsofters? My name is Lane, and welcome back to The Baby Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsoft field, and as always, there will be a companion article for today's video over on thebbwarrior.com. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five products that really just changed my life in airsoft, and I thought that I should have bought those so much sooner because of the improvements that they gave to me. So the first one that I wanna talk about for today, one that I think that everybody, absolutely everybody in airsoft should look into, is better eye protection and better face protection in general. For the longest time, I was somebody who cheaped out on their eyewear. I would make sure that it was safe and it was ANSI rated, but other than that, I really didn't care. I'd buy $30 goggles, you know, $50 goggles maybe, but I'd run into the same issues. The lenses would scratch and they would always fog. And I looked for a lot of solutions to combat this, and then one of my friends told me, Lane, just buy better goggles and you won't have to worry about fogging. And like, I was like, well, why would I spend, you know, $100, $150, even up to like $200 for some options for eye protection. But the way that I see it now is one, you're protecting your eyes, which don't grow back. And you obviously need those. And at the same time, by spending that extra money, you're going to get a much better product. And it's going to go, it's going to make some of the frustrations you have in Airsoft go away. So personally, I own ESS turbo fans. The ESS crossbows are also amazing. The options from Oakley are pretty good. And all of these are great because they have better lenses, which means that they're not going to scratch. You're going to be able to see better because of the quality of them, and they're not going to fog as well. The turbo fan has a built-in fan on it, hence the name, which makes me absolutely love it. And if I haven't mentioned it already, all the products in today's video will be linked down in the description below for you to check out as well as in our article. But the other piece of the equation that I kind of figured out was to have good face protection as well. Because yes, you're protecting your eyes, but what about your teeth, your nose, your cheeks? And for me, the answer to that was the One Tigress foldable face mask. What I like about these is that it is mesh right here in the center where you need the protection the most. And on the side, as you can see, it is nylon. So it can fold, it can go to the contouring of your face, which makes it much easier to aim down the sights of your airsoft gun. It makes it just a more pleasurable experience. At the same time, these sides do protect you. So I really love this mask from One Tigress. Now the second item that I want to talk about for today is actually an airsoft gun, and it's going to be an airsoft gun that you can always rely on. Now for me, that's my VFC Mark 18. I absolutely love this gun, there's nothing on it right now because <laughs> I'm not playing airsoft very much thanks to COVID. But the reason why I love this airsoft gun is because for me, it's my old reliable. It's the gun that never breaks, I can always count on it, I've got it at an FPS that lets me bring it to any field. So no matter what, I always have a working airsoft gun. I've had a lot of guns over the years where either, you know, I've done the tech work or they just haven't been great out of the box or whatever issue it may be. There is some sort of issue with the gun and it stops working either when I get to the airsoft field or midway through the day. And that's very frustrating. But to have a gun that I can rely on, that I can say, okay, well, let me go grab my Mark 18 out of the car and keep the fun of the day going and not have my day ruined because my primary airsoft gun didn't work, it has saved me so many headaches and it's made me enjoy airsoft a lot. I've had a lot of events that I've gone to where that's happened, where like I've driven 15 hours to go to a game and hey, my standard M4 isn't working. Let me go grab the Mark 18 out of the car. We'll use that instead for today. So I definitely recommend that everybody gets a good backup gun, but not like a cheap one. Like get one that's going to perform just as good or nearly as good as your primary gun. That way, if the primary does go down, you know, you're not at a disadvantage like you'd be with like a more entry level beginner gun. The third thing that I want to talk about in today's video is going to be my Odin Innovations speed loader. And I've talked about these a lot on the channel for very good reason. The great thing about the Odin is that it reloads your mid cap magazines incredibly fast. And you can use that time, you might not think about it, but between games or when you're at a Milsim event, you can use that time that you're not spending with a frustrating thumb loader and a bottle of BBs. You just have to drink water, have some food, talk with your friends, and just having that extra time and that super ease of use has just made it incredibly worth it to me. Now, back when I bought the Odin, it was like $20 more than they are now, 
but I still do not regret that purchase at all. It is worth every penny that I spent on that airsoft gun simply because of the time that it saves me and the frustration as well. If you've used a thumb loader, you know that they all kind of suck. Half of them either don't load them into the magazine or it just takes forever because you only get to do like a hundred rounds at a time. It's not even enough to fill most mid caps that are out there nowadays. That's why I love the Odin Innovation speed loader. But the fourth item we're going to talk about for today is more of a gear related item because I think that it's really important, but it's also one of those things that people don't really consider as airsoft gear. And that's going to be your footwear. Now, for me personally, I own a pair of Merrill Moabs. Now, these are kind of my beater pair. Um, I've had these for years. I think I got those boots in like 2014. So, oh my God, seven years now at this point. And they're fantastic boots. Um, Merrill makes great boots. You also have like Solomon, uh, Loa. Just There's a ton of great boot companies out there uh, that you can find quality boots. And again, Merrill's are not very expensive. If I remember correctly, they're like under $100 for a lot of their models. And the reason why you're going to want to have good footwear for Airsoft is that obviously to be able to move around and run around and do whatever you are, either in an indoor or an outdoor environment, your feet are going to have to work right. You're going to want to make sure that you're not hurting your ankle if you fall. That's why I always wear boots indoors as well rather than just like standard sneakers because I want the ankle support. But having a nice pair of boots, now those ones I mentioned specifically are not waterproof, but getting a nice waterproof or thermal if you live in a very cold area like I do, it's only going to help you out and it's going to make sure that you're being much more comfortable. And you know, when you're 30 hours into a 40 hour event and you're probably miserable already because you haven't taken a shower in two days and you've been eating nothing but MREs, having comfortable feet is definitely going to be a good thing. On that same note, I'd highly recommend getting a great pair of socks as well. Darn tough, smart wool. There's tons of great companies out there. But this is definitely one of those things to invest in because it's not just used for airsoft. If you're like me and you do other outdoor activities like hiking, Whatever it may be, having a great pair of boots is just going to be a good thing to have overall for life. But before we get into the final one that we're going to mention for today's video, the final item that I wish I bought a whole lot sooner, I want to ask you guys, what do you think you should have bought sooner? Is there something that I didn't mention on today's list that you'd like to mention? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below and also make sure to drop me one of these so I know that you guys enjoy this video and we'll continue to bring you more content just like this one. But the final item that I want to talk about for today is a container to carry everything that I bring on the airsoft field. Unfortunately, it's too big and probably too heavy as well for me to lift it up like all the other items and show you guys, but I use just like a standard crate from Home Depot, and this allows me to carry everything that I have to the airsoft field at once. Nothing's more frustrating than having to go back to the car and then back to the car over and over to get all your stuff to play airsoft. It's nice to have everything in one convenient location so it's all organized. You're not like searching for something like, oh, did it fall out of a plastic bag I had in the trunk of the car? Personal story. Um, it's just nice to have all your stuff in one convenient location to make sure that you can find it all. Now, the one thing that I would recommend is definitely look into one of these with wheels. Mine at the moment does not have wheels and carrying it can be kind of a pain. Um, there are some kind of airsoft or tactical gear specific ones out there. LBX and LBT come to mind. But there's a lot of great companies that make like rolling deployment bags, they're called, or just like huge duffels for you to use to carry all of your airsoft items onto the field without having to worry about making multiple trips or losing anything that's in your car. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video where we talked about five products that I really just can't live without and I wish I bought a whole lot sooner. Again, if there's any that you think I missed in today's video, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys can't live without on the airsoft field. If this was your first time here on the channel and you enjoyed today's video, I'd absolutely love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below, and while you're at it, hit the bell icon next to it so you get notified when I post new videos here on YouTube. But if you're asking yourself what to watch next, how about you click up here to watch a viewer video. This is gonna be one of our viewer favorites, or again, if you're new to the channel, you can click down here to hit the subscribe button. This has been Lane from the BB Warrior, and I'll see you all next time.